Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm out on the river. Finally, the flood water's come down. We've got some really nice weather recently. It's been like an average of 10 degrees every day. It's absolutely lovely. It's almost like springs here, but you never know. It could always get colder. But the fish have started to feed. The pike have started to feed a little bit more. And I know the perch are going to be starting to feed. Had a couple of perch out the other day. I'm going to put some pictures on Facebook um, on, and my Instagram page. Follow the links in the description below. I'm out fishing a new setup today. Um, it is the one to seven gram mosquito. Awesome little rod. Um, I'm using this with some lighter laws, so we're using small shads and small creature baits in the slacks on the river, see what we can catch. Basically, the aim is to catch anything we can do on the laws, really. Um, hopefully, perch. I'm aiming for perch. I'm starting off with a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, if the pike start to be a little bit pesty, we love them, so we'll put on a 12 pound leader uh, and hopefully that should help with some more resistance against the small jack pike that likes to take these baits as well so without further ado let's crack on get some fishing done see if we can catch any fish let's go We got one. They're a beautiful perch, probably about getting them for half a pound, probably about seven ounce. Really long fish. And that little mini bleak shad. There we go. Go on. Oh, now I lost him. Damn it. Wheelers crawl. Oh, it's frustrating. We weren't a bad fish either. Would have been the biggest perch so far, anyway. Got a fish. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, no. I'm on six pound four out. Some fish in smaller baits. Get out the dirt, get out the dirt. Right. Slide in the struggle. There it comes. Yeah, it is, yeah. Little jacks always are. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> Ooh, nice little jack. We're not going to put this guy on the bank because I didn't bring a little mat with me. It's all right because you can always knock him over the water. And that was caught on a little creature bait. Another one of the baits from LMAB. There we are, there, little craw. It's a beautiful little pike. Thankfully, he didn't damage me fluoro. 
like I say, I'm fishing a lot lighter today. I'm only on a one to eight gram rod, I think it is. But yeah, beautiful little jack pike on the light gear. Can't be that, can you? Let's drop him back in the net. And he's a fat little guy. Getting ready for spawning. There he goes. Great condition, not fish. Oh, and he's off like a rocket. Just gonna whack a new one on there, different colour. This time we're going over a pink one. Just because it was the one I've got to hand easiest. It's the pike tall, the other one. Pike just bit me off. <laughs> Didn't feel resistance, so it's. I spat it out. Just went straight through it. And spat it straight back out. I might have to put on a bit of a heavier lead. Stop those pike biting me off. I'm using smaller jigs and stuff today, so I thought I'd go with a lighter setup um, to heighten my chances of catching more perch and some smaller perch and hopefully avoiding some of the pike but it seems like the pike are active on it so I've changed to 12 pound or something when I've upped the floro to 12 pound I was fishing 6 pound because I was fishing some smaller baits and hoping just to get numbers with perch not necessarily aiming for anything big but seeing as though the pike are active and one just hooked straight through my 6 pound leader um, I've got my 12 pound now I'll pop them Another one of these baits, seven centimetre craw, little pink one. Pike just nosh straight through it. Put on a little offset hook in there. This hook's a little small, but it'll do for now. Here we go. Get a little chub on there, and we're going to cast out. Right, so we've got the core on there now. We've got a small chub weight, three gram chub. To that little craw with an offset hook, just like it was before, but with a 12 pound leader now. A little bit stronger. Of course, it's not going to completely stop break off, so if a big enough pike took it, they'd be able to break you off. But um, this way, at least you've got a bit more abrasion resistance than just using five pound or six pound, whatever I was using. Got it. We got him. Whoa. So that drag a bit looser than that, I think. Persistence is key. I'm not going to keep all that in, but I've probably been cast into that pike for five or ten minutes. Been watching it every time. Uh, just this one so far, yeah. Just this Put it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. <laughs> All right, scrap on this one gram rod. 
but just on the front of its mouth. We got him. Nice jack bike, probably around three and a half, four pounds. Beautiful fish. <laughs> there you go. Just a pike. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ah, yeah, very slippery. <laughs> That one was perfectly hooked, look at that. So now my other bait's on the bottom there somewhere. Because it basically went straight through it, snapped it off, and spat it straight out that first bait. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful fish. Look at that. Really healthy fish. Look at the size of those teeth. Someone else has caught him once before, look. See him out there from a law probably. Let's take a look at him. Really, really good condition. They all are at the minute. Some great coloration on them. Nice fish. Let's get him back. really tricky swim here. I could walk right down the bank. I was just about to and I realised there's a perch just downstream. It's not very big but it should be big enough to take that crawl bait. He went over to it, but just turned away. He's a little bit small, that perch. Be a different bait. The pike seem to love this, but the perch aren't bothered at the minute. I mean, I did hook one on it. I did hook one pound plus on it, but the ones that I'm looking at aren't too bothered. So we have a different presentation. I can't actually remember the name of it off the top of my head. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I tried using it in the middle of winter. Dropped on some two pound perches noses, trying to make a video. Every single perch I cast this to, swam off. They won't even come near it. I think it's a Mollux. Maybe a stick flex, I can't remember the name. Either way, it's done crap for me so far. Let's see if it can redeem itself. Hook's nice and sharp. We're done there. It's a bit snaggy, but I can't be asked to waste time weedless rigging it. I've not got long to fish. Some small perch downstream. I'll see if they'll take it. I didn't want to catch them in case it scared the bigger one off, but not bothered. There we go, one of chasing it. We got it. Oh, no, it come off. It come off. Okay, well, the small perch like it. You nailed it as well. Hook sharp enough. Got another one. I think it's that same fish. Oh, come on. It's just big enough to swing, I think. Yeah. There we go. He crushed it though. Oh yeah, I'm talking about how this bait's rubbish. I'm gonna go and catch a perch on it. I can't complain, I guess. <laughs> Let's get a nice picture of this one in the sunlight. It looks lovely in the sunlight. Spin my camera around, I don't want to scare myself. Because there's another couple of perch down there, I'm gonna keep this one in the net in the edge, I think. So I don't spook any of the others off. Look at him. Lovely little chunk. Great condition. I think there might be one or two smaller perch down there, so I'll just put him down in the edge in the net. 
Let's try one of these little shads from LMAB. Working through my entire arsenal just to catch a couple of birds from this one. Uh, Go on! Oh, it's the big one, it's the big one! Oh, it's not that big. He looked a lot bigger in the water. But we got him. Oh, I spooked away the bigger one. Just swam off. Look at that. <laughs> Changed straight up to his bait and nailed it. Ah. Oh, I just realised my GoPro pointing down. Sorry, guys. Oh, and the bait has just popped off its mouth now. Spot on. It was a fat guy. It's probably easily a easily a pound and a half. Really, really, really fat. You can't really see very well, I don't think, on the camera, but that is one fat fish. Beautiful fish as well. Look at the colour of those fins. Awesome. Alright, well, I'll set these two down there. I did see the other fish spook up actually. Um, when I hooked them pair, well, well, that last one. So I don't think I'm going to be able to catch another one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, I've enjoyed getting out here, catching a few fish, it's been great fun on that light cell. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, if I can find one, to the rods, reel, um, baits, everything that I've used pretty much, apart from the braid. The braid I'm using is crap. It's just some cheap stuff I use to quickly spool up my superior reel today. I forgot to mention at the start of the video, the reel I'm using is an Abu Garcia Superior, 1,000 size. So thank you guys for watching. Like I say, don't forget to subscribe or like the video if you enjoyed it. And follow my Instagram and Facebook in the description below. And I'll catch you guys later.